Hey beauties and welcome back, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So in today's video I am going to be trying out that method, uh, the French tip with the jewel form method again, because I had so much fun doing it and I really wanted to give it another go. But this time I'm going to spice it up a little bit and I'm going to change the French tip end of different colours of uh, the Macart poly gel, like the theme kits. I thought it'd be really fun to do like a pastel French tip uh, set along with uh, some butterflies. These are the hollow uh, butterflies that I got off of AliExpress. I will link everything down below in the description box. I am using dual forms of course as well. I do have a video on how um, I'd done this once before but I'd done it on my left hand and no I'd done it on my right hand with my left hand and it was a bit eh. so we're gonna go again. Um, so I am using the Macar basically nearly everything Macar apart from the top coat just because I was too lazy to go find my Macar top coat. <laughs> um, but this one this this tutorial is pretty in not in depth like it's not going to be like you know solid like buckle down and let's listen <laughs> but it's uh yeah it's it's a pretty uh a well explained tutorial i'm going to try and explain it pretty well as i can anyway so right now what i'm doing is i'm just sizing out my dual forms i'm using the straight ones i prefer straight ones because i have flat nail beds but if you have curved nail beds then by all means you can use the curved ones if you like to have curved nails use the curved ones it's completely up to you your preference i know some people prefer the straight ones and some people do generally like the curled ones the curved ones so those two fingers are the same size because i couldn't find another straight edge uh, dual form and then so but I did find one in the end so yeah um so yeah I just stick them onto my nail stand here with some tack and then I use this little stand here then to hold my nails into place whilst I'm patting the poly gel in that way it doesn't go all over the place because it's an absolute nightmare when it's all sticky and it's all over your fingers because it is quite fiddly so I am going to show you some nail prep now I started by pushing back my cuticles with the uh, cuticle pusher and now I'm just using the other end uh, to scrape away any of the dirt and dead skin. You do this gently, you don't have to be rough, you do this to all your nails. I only showed one nail because I didn't think you'd need to see it over and over and over again. I used my um, cuticle nippers, you don't have to do this by the way if you're not comfortable. Um, but yeah, I used my uh, clippers to then clip away any of that like excess skin you can also use a nail file by the way an electric e-file sorry uh, I'm still learning with mine so I'm not quite comfortable with doing my natural nail with them yet and you just want to use your nail file to take away the shine from your nail so it'll look like a matte or chalky sort of texture make sure to get all the edges and make sure to make sure no shine is on your natural nail whatsoever your natural nail plate and then you can also take down the length I don't usually do that because I like my nails to be a little bit longer so um yeah I just this is how I like it <laughs> and then you would go in with some dehydrate and primer like I just showed as well and also some base coat and you would cure for 60 seconds I do use my peel off base coat here because I am going to try and pre-record a couple of videos so that I have some stuff ready for you guys um yeah I'll explain a bit more on that in a second once uh, we've gotten through this face now so this is the thumbnail oh my discord did you hear that in the background <laughs> So my thumbnail, um, we're going to do first. I wanted to just like, I, I don't know, I always do a really well, a good job on the thumb. I don't know why. Uh, so anyway, what I'm starting off with is the natural pink from Macart. You can get this in the French kit. To, um, oh gosh, what's it called? The French kit nude Macart poly gel kit. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, so basically what I'm doing is I am using those little lines. Can you see the, like, the straight lines and then the curved lines? I use that as a guideline. And I go up two lines, uh, two curved lines in total, and I pat and play, pull it around into place and shape it uh, into that curve. And also making sure that it is uh, thin around the sidewalls and the cuticle area. And most of the product build up is in the centre because of course that's where your apex will be. Uh, so once I was done with that, I put it onto my nail, I cleaned up around the edges and stuff like that, and then I cured. And now I'm going to go in with the green colour from the uh, the green McCart uh poly gel kit uh i absolutely love the theme kit and i wanted to use the colors again so i was like do you know what let's do it this way and i grabbed the lightest colors out of each of the kit and i used all the lighter colors uh, apart from the yellow the yellow is from the rainbow kit because we don't have a, a yellow themed kit um but yeah it'd be good if they had another <laughs> theme kit because then i could just do one of each color on each nail yeah it would have been perfect but never mind um i'm still happy with the with the theme kits that we've got so what i'm doing now is i counted up two lines again and this time i'm doing the uh free edge and 
of course you want to just pat and pull it into place like I did before get one of those clips handy and just like push down and slide your nail in so it meets the um the poly gel the bit that's already cured then flip your hand over once you put your clip on pat it into place so it's like meeting and it's it's clean and tidy and stuff like that and then you just pop off the jewel form and you're left with a full nail so I did do this last time and some people were like oh my gosh what if it breaks so there's only a couple of people who said it but they are right so I thought okay when you've done this as an extra step to make sure your nail is, is strong um file it first buff up the shine <laughs> don't do what I did I forgot to buff up the shine I was just like testing it and then I'm using some builder gel you can also put some builder gel into a dual form and stick it on that way but I'm just using some brush on builder gel and I'm just brushing it over the top here and then I cure and I wipe away the sticky tacky layer and I move on to the next nail so it's pretty easy and before anyone bites at me because people did bite at me before with the with this method um Jamie K uh, done this about a year ago I didn't know I hadn't seen a video um, so it wasn't me that created this method I did think of it myself but someone had already done the method so I am giving you credit because of course I always give credit where credit is due um, I wouldn't like it if it was the roles were reversed you know sort of thing so yeah uh, always give credit to the creators themselves but yeah fantastic idea and I absolutely love this and it's so fast and easy to do a French tip like I'm obsessed with French tip nails at the minute I hope you guys don't mind like French tips and butterflies because that's all I'm doing at the moment I just love it I just find it so much fun and like there's nothing better than looking like a, a crisp French tip nail in my opinion um so yeah let me know like what, what what are your thoughts down below guys do you mind me doing more French tip nails because honestly I'm here for it and I'm loving it and especially with summer and spring colours oh I've got a couple of ideas that I want to do let's hope that I can actually do them though because I always start off with something in my head and it never goes the way I plan <laughs> so I end up doing something a little bit different but I do have a couple of things ready to go um I'm pre-recording tonight so that there are videos ready and I can just upload them and stuff like that rather than being rushed off my feet so going on to I did explain on my um Instagram story uh today earlier today I was meant to upload a video yesterday uh but on Thursday my little girl um in the evening she just started feeling really poorly out of nowhere she was fine one minute and the next minute she was white all flushed she had a bit of a temperature she had a runny nose and of course she's only five we panicked a little bit well I did a little bit and I thought oh gosh I hope it's not you know that weird that shall not be named that begins with the sea um so we were a little bit worried and we kept it home from well we've been isolating on Friday we went to a, a test center and we had a test done and we got the results this morning and she is fine it is a negative test so she doesn't have what we thought she might have had but we had to be careful just in case so in the end I was going to like get a video on Friday and I was going to get a video on Saturday but of course with my little girl not feeling well and now my son's caught this like cold I think it's just a general like everyday cold um but they've both been ill with this cold so um yeah I've been a little rushed off my feet so this is the first time I've been able to sit down and actually get some uh time to record a few videos uh, so I hope you guys don't mind and I'm sorry I know I was meant to upload four times this week but I said three four times so I'll just I'll uh, I'll upload next week now I'll do a couple of extra videos that's why I'm going to pre-record tonight I'm going to get as many of the things as I can ready and out do you know what I mean so thank you for being patient with me guys I I know that it's a pain when I have to keep on swapping out my you know my my schedule but I promise it's, it's not going to be forever it's just at the moment everything has anyone else noticed that everything just comes at like all in threes <laughs> it's all everything just comes at you all in once it's, there's no like half <laughs> half measures it's just like right now I'll deal with this and now deal with this so yeah um but thank you for being patient with me guys I really do appreciate it and you guys are all are so amazing and so sweet my last video when I explained that I was tired and drained and I just couldn't seem to get inspiration and I was like blocked creative creativity is that a weird my creative my creative <laughs> mind was blocked I don't know what I'm trying to say but yeah you guys were so supportive and I thank you so much you're absolutely amazing I couldn't ask for better subscribers if I even tried you're all just uh, just great I honestly I don't know what to say because you were all that amazing uh but anyway we are going <laughs> we are now finishing the last nail wow I've talked all through this video yet again um so basically it's the same thing on a repeat I, I done the nail bed cured then I go back in with the nail tip 
area and I cure and I just done that for each nail um I used the pink from the pink kit purple from the purple kit blue from the blue kit the yellow is from the rainbow kit and then the green is obviously from the green kit they're all macart colors I will link every single kit down below and I will also um link my macart playlist probably in the uh, cards if I can because I have a lot of videos on McCart products. I absolutely love McCart products. They are one of my favourite brands. Um, I do have a couple of goodies coming from them soon. I ordered off of AliExpress because everything else was sold out everywhere else. Um, but luckily it hadn't on AliExpress. I'm hoping that it comes soon and I can get some more videos out to you. I know that a few of you have asked for these videos. So they are coming. Once I get them, they will be out, I promise. But I'm sorry that I'm slow. <laughs> it seems to just be my thing at the moment but yeah anyway I'm going to stick on some music because once I've done this I just go in with the builder gel and then I work with the sticky tacky layer and I do some filing I just file the edges the free edge like just shape it up and over the top to just give it a buff um but once I was finished filing I then went in with some stickers so I'll come back when we start doing the stickers because those stickers are so lush I can't oh the hollow butterflies I'm obsessed with butterflies guys but anyway I'm gonna and go, and I'll be back in a bit. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> And I'm back guys, hello. So these were the uh, stickers, the holographic butterfly stickers that I got off AliExpress. They were like 99p each. Um, and if you spend, because these these stickers come, you know where um, my, gosh, what are they called? My full gel, like dupes, like uh, one, two, three, go nails. They're, in, they're, just, they're down in the description box. I use them for my, my, my lazy girl method, or Femi Beauty method nails, sorry. Um, it's the same supplier, and I asked, I bought a few goodies from there, and I actually done a 
haul. If I remember to link all these videos, I will, I promise. But there's a lot of them. <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, these are from the same supplier. They were like 99p each or something like that. And if you spend over, I think it's like 15 to 20 pound, um, you get free shipping, which is fantastic. And they are really fast. I've never had a problem with them. I know some people have in different areas, but I can't say that I have. Unfortunately, some people will experience some bad shipping because, of course, not everyone is perfect. Do you know what I mean? There's always, you never get five stars. <laughs> um, but it's, it's it's sad when some people do actually want their products and they can't get a hold of them. But nevertheless, uh, these are from the same seller. I don't know why I'm blabbering on about it. But basically, I just stuck them down with some tweezers and then I went over them with some top coat I cured for 60 seconds. And then I added some cuticle oil, my own cuticle oil that I've made myself. It's just jojoba oil and vitamin E oil. It's great for your cuticles, helps strengthen your nails and grow your nails. Highly recommend it. I would just, uh, yeah, I just, I mix it into a tub and then I pour it into my little pans that I buy off of um, Amazon. Um, I was going to say AliExpress, but they're off Amazon. Uh, and then once that was done, I done some reveal shots. Oh, I did also use the McCart um, rhinestone glue. And uh, I stuck these on uh, these little butterflies. I got them off of Amazon. I will try and find the link for them as well. But I stuck them on with the rhinestone glue and I thought they, they looked really cute. Um... Like I said, I'm obsessed with butterflies at the minute, guys. I apologise. No, I'm not even sorry. It's great. I love butterflies. Why would I be sorry about butterflies? Um, <laughs> but yeah, the great thing about the macaque uh, rhinestone glue is it doesn't uh, have a, st a sticky tacky layer. So once it's cured, it's like top coat. It's a non-white, which is fantastic. Um, and I will leave all my codes and affiliate links down below. Affiliate links, I get uh, a little small commission. And if you use my code, uh, you don't have to use them. But of course, it will save you some coins as well. I use my own codes because, you know... I'm like that. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, I'll leave everything down below in the description box. Just have a gander and you'll see. But other than that, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. I really enjoyed doing this set. It was really fun and it was nice to sit down and do a set of nails because I feel like I haven't done any in like days, a week, maybe. I can't remember. But this is the end result. I do love that green nail. My favourite colour is blue, purple and pink. Uh, but honestly, that green one is kind of speaking to me. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Don't forget to keep on smiling. Don't forget to stay safe. Stay away from weird people without masks. And uh, other than that, guys, I will see you all in my next one. Love you. Bye. <laughs>